What's up everyone and welcome back. Uh, I'm Kane and welcome to Boss Souls. Um, in this video I'd like to show you all a few boss fights. Uh, I'll say a little bit about it but we'll just get started and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I just made a pyromancer and I'm at the end of the tutorial, at least the tutorial area, uh, areas I call it. And um, the first boss that we're gonna fight is the Asylum Demon. Um, this demon is actually made quite easy because you actually start on a ledge allowing you to do a jumping attack on him, a, a plunging attack like that, which already sets him back for like half his health. Now, the rest of the fight isn't really hard since this boss does kinda predict most of his moves uh, in such a way that um, as you can see, he swings his weapon back for a really slow while before he actually hits with it. So actually hitting him, uh, I mean sorry, uh, evading his attacks is made quite easy because he shows you quite clearly um, well when he's gonna, gonna attack and how, where he's gonna hit. Uh, as you um, saw, I used both my axe and my um, pyromancy uh, flame, the fireball spell. Um, he's quite easy at range, he has some uh, attacks that go a little bit further, but I mean the first boss is more to, to showcase what's coming up, so he's not really that big of a deal. Now, I'll probably cut forward and we'll go now, uh, well now we're now going towards the Taurus demon. Okay, so here we are. Um, just before I start on the Taurus Demon, which is up these stairs, I'd like to try out something else first. Now, for those who already have played this game quite a bit, they'll know what's they know what's coming up. For those who don't know, probably well, the main people who are watching this, because it's more focused on people who are new to the game. Um, I'm just gonna go down. I have the master key, so I'm actually capable of going here. Um, there's like this mini boss called Hevel, Hevel the Rock, and I'm gonna try and kill him since he drops a ring that I might be use, uh, might gonna use. Um, key to this fight mainly is just dodge at the last second and then backstab him. Uh, afterwards, you can just lock on again, wait until he. Stands up again and backstab him again. And you wait till he stands up again and you can backstab him again. Um, this is just a, a, a backstab chain, um, which is quite useful against human uh, mobs like this. Thing is, he might suddenly stand up and instantly uh, turn around towards you. That can happen just dodge again just make sure you don't dodge too early because uh, when he starts his swing he can still adjust it but um, when he actually yeah as soon as the hammer starts going towards you oh dear <laughs> yeah that was just bad luck as soon as the hammer starts going down towards the ground that's when he can't really change directions anymore so you actually have to wait until he starts hitting um, let me run back and I'll try that again Okay, so here we go. Attempt number two. Hopefully I'll get him this time. Uh, I think I'll just shut up for now and try focusing on killing this guy. Which is probably the best idea. See, I just waited until he attacked, dodged it, ran towards him, and backstabbed him. Oh, that 
<laughs> fail, but yeah. That's just the main idea against this guy. Wait for him to... F yeah. When he attacks, he actually has to recover for a while, and that's the proper moment to start attacking. That's the yeah, that's pretty much the whole idea behind this fight. You can actually uh, parry this guy and then repost him for even more damage, but it's it's quite risky. I mean, if you're really familiar with this weapon, the Dragon Tooth, you can do so, but I, I, I'd rather not risk it. Um, yeah, this does drag on a bit. But maybe I'll speed it up. It, I don't know. We'll see. That's quite interesting. As you saw, I didn't take any damage from that hit, but I did get staggered back. Um, thing is, I uh, got into the AoE range of the weapon, but not the physical range, meaning I did get knocked back by the small AoE range that it has, yet I didn't get hit because it physically didn't contact with me. Mm -mm, he's acting annoying. I'd rather have him just, yeah, come at me like that, so I can quickly backstab him again, instead of him just <laughs> turtling the entire time. Oof. And again. And again. It's not really an interesting fight if you do it like this, I mean might be more interesting to just do it the normal way, but this guy is, as you might notice from his armor, quite resilient. So that, well, that's also the way, uh, reason why it takes so long. As you can see, I don't really do a lot of damage. I'm gonna do like 44 damage in total each time I backstab him. That's not really a lot, but we're almost done. Ah, there we go, and we're done. And there's our loot, Hevel's Ring. Okay, so I'll just keep on going, I'll quickly equip this stuff, let's see, Hevel's ring, ah, I got that one as well, of course. Uh, if you might be wondering, hey, how the hell did he just get this weapon? I quickly ran into Blight Town, I just uh, ran around there uh, towards this weapon, I quickly got it, got killed, and that way I got back um, to Filing Shrine, where I was, right after the tutorial. So that's, uh, well, that's just because I know how this game works and where everything is. Well, a lot of things. So that's pretty much why I could, uh, was able to do so. Uh, you can try, so I mean, there's like a lot of videos on YouTube um, explaining how to, to, to speedrun all kinds of stuff. And I, I, I wanted to use this weapon and I thought, hey, I can get it at the start of the game, so why, why not? Let's try it. Uh, do not this white fog pretty much always indicates that you're going into a new area or into a boss fight. Um, before you do Taurus Demon, do note that in this barrel there is a crystal lizard. If yeah, there we go. They just drop stuff that you use for improving weapons and gear. Uh, now, so this bridge is actually where you're gonna fight Taurus Team. Um, as I might have said before in videos, it's really important to know your, uh, know the game, to study everything that's going on. As you can hear, maybe, I'm not sure how loud the volume of the game is, but I can hear, like, shooting of a crossbow. And if you look really closely, you can see a ladder. So we'll just go up here first. Now, at the Asylum Demon, we did a plunging attack. We actually jumped on top of him and did, like, a massive amount of damage at the start of that fight. Um, and right here, we're on a tower, near the place where we're actually going to do the boss fight. So that pretty much indicates already that if you manage to get the boss right down there, 
you can do a punching attack on him for a high amount of damage. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I guess we'll just get him here and dive on him. Let's try it. So, ah, there he is. Toss Demon, music is going to start. Scary stuff and all. We're just going to quickly go onto the ladder. Miss the top. Ah, there he is. Okay, put this stuff on. He's right down there. We'll just jump on his face, and there you go. Pretty much half his health gone. Now, also, Taurus, I mm, this. If you see like this gray circle right there on the boss, that's actually that meant that I'm locked on to him. Him. I generally don't really like locking on uh, at bosses because. Um, it it kind of uh, disables you a bit, in my in my my opinion. I mean, the boss uh, jumps a lot and is big, so you can go through his legs, and the camera can act quite oh derpy. So yeah, I I don't really like it that much, honestly. Um, it's useful for quickly turning the camera around and stuff, or getting in the proper way. Uh, in the proper position to uh, block attacks, but mm, in general I don't really like it at all. Ah, he's almost that way. Same story goes for him actually as with the Asylum Demon. You can punch attack on him actually multiple times. If you just take him to the other side of the bridge, then quickly run here again and go up the ladder, you can just jump on him again and again until he's dead, so that's pretty cool. Uh, do know that if you stick on top of there for too long, he'll actually jump up and fight you up there. So that might be a, uh, a thing to keep in mind. For Drust, he's not that hard. You just, you're like with the Asylum Demon, you can just evade his attacks, which he um, foreshadows pretty clearly. And then you just go in while he's recovering and just hit him and you go out again. Uh, I could have used my fire spells, uh, would have made it a bit easier, but yeah, it's quite doable as you see. So, I wish you good luck, have fun on it, keep trying, and um, let me know how it's going. Okay, I'll see you all later. Bye!